Roadsters are usually characterized by three basic features, a sports car feel, two seats, and a convertible top for open-air motoring. The Porsche Boxster and the BMW Z4 offer all this and more. Both deliver over 250 horsepower and are available for under 50,000 euros, but otherwise they have little in common. Inga Brunstrup usually works as a teacher, but today she's our test driver. The first thing she notices about the Z4 is its long hood, and she says it's immediately recognizable as a BMW. As for the Porsche, she finds its design far more contoured. And the hood gives the Porsche a tighter feel than the BMW. Time to check out the interior. Our tester immediately feels comfortable. She seems surprised to find the ignition on the left, which it is in every Porsche. So how do we open the roof? Heads up. First press the button, then pull the lever. Not the most straightforward setup she finds. But once that's taken care of, the roof pops back and down and it's time to get going. The Boxster accelerates from 0 to 100 kilometers an hour in 5.9 seconds. Top speed is 263 kilometers an hour. The six-speed manual transmission has very short throws between gears. Together with extremely precise steering, the Boxster is great fun to drive, especially on winding country roads. Two hundred ninety newton meters of torque and rev ranges between four and six and a half thousand RPM translate into tremendous acceleration. The word Boxster, by the way, is not some randomly chosen name. It's a confluence of Boxer engine and Roadster. But there's more than one kid on the block today. Let's see how the BMW Z4 fares in comparison. Inga Brunstrup says it doesn't have such a sporty appearance and is more on the elegant side. First things first, start the engine. In the BMW's case, courtesy of a button. That was easy enough. Now how about the roof? This time the crucial button is further down. Unlike the Boxster, there's no extra lock to be disengaged with the Z4. That said, the roof takes some 20 seconds to open, eight more than the Porsche. Plus, it can only be opened when standing still. The Z4's three-liter six-cylinder inline engine propels the Roadster from zero to 100 in 5.8 seconds. This stat does, however, require activating the sport mode, which provides a keener engine response as well as sharper steering but it's still not quite as firm and responsive as the Porsche, however. Speed-wise, an electronic limiter kicks in at 250 kilometers per hour. The Z4 transmits 310 Newton meters of torque to the rear axle. This plus point, however, is compromised by weighing in 80 kilos heavier than the Porsche. All things considered, this is more the cruiser type of the two. But even roadsters have to be functional as well as fast. Inga is a keen golf player, so space for her equipment is crucial. The Boxster's trunk is up to the job. Fast. And how about the BMW? Once the roof is shifted back, it presents a major obstacle for stowing cargo. Inga sees right away that the golf bag won't fit. The only option is to get back in the car, put the roof back and try again, a time-consuming ordeal. Lo and behold, the golf bag now fits exactly into the Z4's trunk. But now there's another problem. She can't pull out the protective cover. Unacceptable for Inga. Luckily, there is another option, a center pass-through extending into the car interior. 
And now, finally, the protective cover can be pulled out and over the golf bag, in turn enabling the roof to be opened. So is everything perfect now? Things don't look quite as nice at the other end, says Inga, but you can't have everything. At the end, there's just one crucial question. Which Roadster has its nose in front? The Boxster from Porsche or perhaps the BMW Z4? Now that Inga has driven the BMW, she finds both its steering and gear shifting disappointing. Plus her initial suspicion that the long hood would be a potential nuisance. And if it didn't have a park distance control, it would be difficult to judge distances. She found the Porsche easily the sportier of the two. It accelerates faster and more energetically and also has greater cargo capacity. Her clear winner is the Porsche. Another satisfied driver.